COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. This belongs to a group of coronavirus. Lab confirmed case of COVID-19 is a person who can spread the disease. So it is important to trace all their contacts to contain the infection and prevent the spread. So exclusive team of health workers trace the path the patient took for the last 14 days. Tracking contacts of the patient is essential part of infection prevention and control. Identifying those who were exposed to the disease, restricting their movements, observing them for COVID-19 symptoms will prevent further transmission. One positive case will have around 200 to 300 contacts. Tracking the right number is important than uh, tracking the big number. So contacts are of two types, direct or high risk contact, casual or low risk contact. So who are the high risk contacts? They are the close contacts of the COVID positive patient, person providing direct care without proper personal protective equipment for COVID-19 patients, having lived in the same household as a person with confirmed COVID-19 disease, having direct physical contact with someone with confirmed COVID-19 case, having been in direct contact with body secretions like saliva, vomitus, diarrhea, you know, all those things. Those who have been in direct contact and they didn't take any precautions to wash their hands and things like that. And those who have been in close contact or near the person face to face less than one meter for more than 15 minutes. Then those who were in an enclosed space like in a classroom, meeting room, waiting room, they were with the confirmed COVID case for more than 15 minutes. With a distance of less than one meter, they are all high risk people. Then if they were traveling in a plane, if a COVID positive case was there, two seats in front, two seats behind and at the sides, they also have a chance of getting infected from the COVID-19 patient. Then people who have traveled in the same train or bus together with the COVID positive patient, he is also at high risk. People with low risk are those who had a casual contact, that is a contact of less than 15 minutes within 24 hours of the COVID patient being tested positive. Our grassroots uh, level uh, contact tracing is done by ASHA, ANM and Anganwadi workers. Indian Red Cross Society, NDRF, Civil Defense, NSS, NCC volunteers are also available in the districts and are engaged if these ASHA, ANM, Anganwadi workers are not available. So their main responsibility is to search the clinically suspect cases people who are contacts of confirmed case and uh, they have to maintain the line list of suspect confirmed cases and their contacts. They have to monitor the contacts daily. They have to inform the supervisory medical officer if the suspect develops any COVID symptoms. They have to create awareness among the community about the disease prevention about home quarantine. These health workers are also given a toolkit in which they have pamphlets and all material for about the disease. They also have masks with them which they have to give if any of these contacts develop symptoms. They have to enlist all the contacts for tracing along with their names, address, contact details and submit to the supervisor daily. So they have to provide information on self-health monitoring. If anybody develops any symptoms like uh, fever or cough or runny nose, sore throat, immediately they should be given a triple layer mask and they have to show them how to use the mask and take care of themselves and how to keep a distance among their other family members. They have to have their own separate dishes, plates, tumblers and things like that and have to be in isolation. 
whenever they develop any symptoms when they go into cough and difficulty in breathing they have to be taken to the supervisory medical officer and transported to a hospital if required the duration of follow up of contacts would be 28 days from the time of last contact with the case a healthcare worker uh, will be able to visit 50 houses in a day and in difficult uh, terrain they visit around 30 houses and uh, supervisory medical officer is deployed for a population of 1000 the number of covid cases are increasing rapidly so it is very important for the public to remain healthy and safe first thing is hand hygiene social distancing don't get into crowded places avoid crowds um, eat healthy be healthy and people with diabetes hypertension uh, all those people should be taking their medicines very correctly religiously so that all those things are under control there is no need to panic because 80% of the symptoms are mild and they recover there is no need of panic at all